Hey guys, it's Dave, welcome back to DJ Media. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to do event recording. So before we get into this video, if you guys are new to this channel, on this channel we do tech reviews like camera and audio, microphones, stuff like that, and also tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new, consider subscribing. But now, let's get into the video. Okay, so what is event recording? So basically, it's where you record an event. I know that's a terrible definition, but it's pretty accurate. You need to be able to bring the experience of the event to the viewers who are watching the recording. And how do you do this? You need to have good video and good audio. You need to make it tell a story. Now, I know that's hard because you really have no control over the content of the event, but even so, you should make it engaging for the viewers. Now today we're gonna to be talking more specifically about how to record a gig or recording a concert, something like that. So the first step is to know the venue. You need to know where this event is going to be taking place. You never wanna show up to an event, never have been to that location before and run into some sort of quirk, like you don't have a power outlet or there's no Wi-Fi, or there's just nowhere to put a camera or a microphone. You need to know what the event is like. Now something you can do is you can call the manager of that event ahead of time or email them and ask them, okay, what services do you have? Do you have power outlets? Do you have Wi-Fi? Do you have ethernet? Things like that. It's always good to phone ahead or email ahead just to make sure you know what is there. Now something I did, and I'm using an example of a gig I did a couple weeks ago, it was at a, uh, a store, local store that has sort of a back room lounge uh, sort of concert venue. And uh, I went on their website and they had a floor plan of that venue showing where seats would be and things like that, which I'll put a little image above the screen now so you can see it. And I use this floor plan to decide where I'm gonna set my cameras and microphones. So then in terms of video, what do you need? Well, I always like to use at least two cameras. The reason being is that during the event, you don't really know exactly what's gonna happen. If you have two camera angles, if something happens in one camera's view but not the other, you can switch to that other camera. So for, for example, if someone walks in front of the camera, you can't control that, but if you have two cameras, you can cut the other camera while someone's blocking that first camera. That way you don't actually lose any footage. Another great thing to do is to leave one camera recording the entire time. Don't stop it ever. That way you have somewhere to benchmark. So for example, I was using this camera as my primary camera and then my Canon Vixia as my backup camera. The backup camera was re recording the entire time, never stopped. This camera, I would stop in between every single set. That way I was sure the data didn't get lost. Now, a great strategy for audio is to record audio separately from video. Now, of course, you should record scratch audio in the camera, that way you can sync it up later in post. Now, to record good audio, you need to know exactly what you're gonna be recording. If it's some sort of presentation, you need to have a microphone that's good for voice. If you're gonna be recording instrumental music, you need to have good microphones that are great for picking up uh, instruments. Now, the gig I was at was piano, electric piano, bass, and drum set. So that gave me a pretty good idea of what microphones I would need. And then before you go to the event, be sure you know approximately how long this event will be. You never want to show up, start recording, and then run out of space on your computer or your cameras right in the middle of the event. You never want to do that. That is the worst case scenario. So what I always do is I always bring plenty of SD cards, but I also ask in advance, okay, how many sets are you going to do or how long are you going to be speaking for? That way I can plan what SD cards I know I need to have, and that way I can have backups if I need them. So that about wraps up this video. I hope this gave you some insight in how to plan for an event shoot. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. If you didn't like the video, please don't hit that dislike button. And if you guys want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and you can get enabled notifications. That way you know when I upload more videos. So that's about all I got for you guys today. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.